300 years of back taxes on our home sweet home and now they've turned the water off. Oh, what is a washed up old witch to do? Timmy thinks Tabby should rethink selling a book. Timmy knows it would break in bundles. For the last time, I am not selling that steamy tell-all. I'm in enough trouble as it is. I don't need any more problems knocking at my door. Timmy needs an advance. ASAP. What? HarperCollins is coming to Army? To sign contracts? Um, no, 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 no. Nothing's wrong. It, it's just Timmy needs to talk to his agent. Gotta go, bye. Hell's bells, who could that be? Collins, ready? Tabby, Timmy has something to tell you before you open that door. I don't believe it. Timmy's sorry his princess is upset. He couldn't stop this from happening. It's not your fault the tax man came to collect. Tax man's here? Well, who else would it be? Um... One of Tabitha's other bill collectors. Thanks for reminding me. Just a minute! Oh, blast! The money we made from recycling those cans won't even put a dent in what we owe the tax man. Maybe Fluffy will cough up some change in a hairball. Miss Lennox, open the door. Coming! Timmy, you've been holding out on me. No, Tabby, it's Timmy's college fund. Oh, college, my foot. This is your little Mark Timmy fund. Sorry, dollface. I need this money to pay the tax man. Ah! It's a mere pittance of what we owe, but maybe it'll be enough to, to buy us some time. Let me... Miss Lennox! Please open the door. Timmy's going to have Fluffy put him out of misery. You're not going anywhere, my lad. You're going to stay here with me and face the music. Lady, open up now. Yeah, music for Timmy and Tabby's funeral. Timmy can't think of a way out of this. Wait, I've got a plan. Dim the lights and make yourself scarce. Idiot. I'm going to seduce him. I'm going to vamp my way out of paying the tax bill. Uh, lose that look, Timmy. I know what I'm doing. In my day, I vamp the best of them. <laughs> it's just that Tabby hasn't vamped in a while now. And Timmy's just worried Tabby's lost her touch. Are you suggesting that I've lost what it takes to seduce a man? <laughs> she struck out with Santa last Christmas and he was drunk. Get lost and be quick about it. I'm going to practice the only magic I have left. My feminine wiles. Mr. Gilligan, I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting, but I had to make myself decent. Ah, <laughs> Poor princess. How 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wash up with you go to survive. What's that we're going to now? There's only one thing to do, Timmy. Resort to plan B. No! Not plan B! Yes. We're going to introduce the tax man to our friends in the basement. No, there isn't. Sorry, there was no money in the cookie jar after all. But if you'll just take this for now, maybe in a few weeks... This I'll... was your last chance, Miss Lennox. I'm leaving to go file the eviction papers. Oh! Oh, no, Mr. Gilligan, wait. I, I know you're a busy man and only doing your job, but, but I would appreciate it so much if, if, if you would help me with something before you leave. Your overactive libido is your problem. <gasps> no, it's not that. It's, it's, it's the basement. Something down there it is troubling me, and I think you're just the man who could fix it. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gilligan. Jimmy can't watch. I can't tell you what this means to me. You're staying to check out the rumbling in my basement when you could be back at the office preparing my eviction papers. Don't think I'm going soft on you, Ms. Lennox. I'm protecting the city's interest. Really? How? Once you're evicted, we'll sell this house at auction for non-payment of taxes. It'll bring a higher price and market if uh, everything's in working order. Oh, you're a bureaucrat to the core, Mr. Gilligan. Such zeal shouldn't go unrewarded. I'm sure you'll get yours soon, very soon. This is it. No, oh, people who got on my nerves over the years. <laughs> the town crier with that damn bell of his. <laughs> and the pious ninny from the Temperance League. That pushy salesman who just would not take no for an answer. And uh, then there was the annoying pizza boy who always said, have a nice day. <sighs> no one likes the dust. Come on. They should buy us some time, Timmy. But sooner or later, another tax man will turn up to collect, and then I don't know what I'll do. <sighs> Look at us, Timmy. Reduced to eating cat food. Shh! Fluffy will hear you. <laughs> Fluffy will be homeless, as will we, if I don't come up with a way to pay those damn property taxes. I can't send every tax man that comes here to his doom in the basement. Bureaucrats are as unpopular down there as they are up here. Oh, Timmy, we need money and lots of it if we're to survive. The question is, how to get it? Timmy knows how. I'm afraid to ask, but what is it? Timmy sent out his book to a publisher. You did? What? HarperCollins loved it so much, they're going to publish it. A hundred thousand copies to start. They're coming to give to me in advance when we sign contracts. Oh. Isn't that great, Tabby? Now Tabby has all the money paid off all the bills, and Timmy has enough money to buy more Timmy's. I can't believe you did this! Jimmy was glad to help. Help! Don't you realize?
recognize the can of worms you've opened? That book is a tabloid tell-all of my 300 years here in Harmony. Not only does it expose everyone and their ancestors and their deepest, darkest, dirtiest secrets, it exposes me as a witch! Uh-oh. Jimmy must have skipped that chapter. Uh-oh is right, kiddo. You just signed our death warrant. Mm -hmm.